independent clause. An independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. This type of clause makes sense on its own as a sentence. For example, Jane ate pasta. The subject in this sentence is Jane and the verb is ate. Another example is Sam went to the park. The subject in this sentence is Sam and the verb is went. As we can see from these examples, they make sense on their own and they convey a complete thought. Dependent clause. A dependent clause is also a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. However, a dependent clause doesn't make sense on its own as a sentence. For example, because she was hungry. As we can see from this example, there's a subject and a verb. However, the clause doesn't make sense on its own as it doesn't convey a complete thought. Therefore, we can combine the independent clause and dependent clause, like this. Jane ate pasta because she was hungry. As we can see here, the dependent clause depends on the independent clause to make sense. Another example is after he finished. Again, this clause doesn't make sense as it doesn't convey a complete thought. Therefore, we can combine it with an independent clause like this. Sam went to the park after he finished school. We can also identify dependent clauses by looking for a subordinating conjunction. A subordinating conjunction introduces a dependent clause. There are many types of subordinating conjunctions such as after, although, before, because, etc. Now, test your knowledge by identifying whether each of the following is an independent clause or a dependent clause. You can pause the video here so you have time to think about your answers.